Good evening. This is Shabashachi Vatachaji with Regional News. Union Corporation Minister Amit Shah has said that the National Cooperative Development Corporation, NCDC, is playing a crucial role in fulfilling Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Sahakar Se Samriddhi. Addressing the 89th General Council meeting of the NCDC in New Delhi on Monday, Shah said the ministry has taken several initiatives to strengthen cooperative movement in the country. These initiatives have special focus on strengthening the primary agriculture credit societies. Shah said NCDC has disbursed financial assistance of more than 41,000 crore rupees in 2022-23 across the country, including rural areas. He said NCDC is set to achieve 10 times growth in disbursement of financial assistance in the current financial year from around 5,000 crore rupees in 2013-14. Indian Minister of Women and Child Development Smriti Irani today launched the protocol for management of malnutrition in children to combat acute malnutrition at a function in New Delhi. It is a comprehensive guide to identify and provide extensive care to malnourished children in the country. The protocol will also provide detailed steps for the identification and management of malnourished children at the Anganwari level, including decision-making for referral, nutritional management, and follow-up care. Malnutrition occurs when an individual's diet lacks vital nutrients and energy needed for proper body function. Speaking on the occasion, Irani said this protocol will check malnutrition among children so that they become healthy. She said government is tackling the issues of malnutrition through the implementation of Potion Abhijan. In a disastrous development, farmers of East Siang district are going through a terrible time as the rice crop is under attack by severe diseases. With the farmers in stress, an initiative is undertaken for issuing advisories for the management of this problem. The affected farmers are in contact with experts regarding management of this rice minus through M4 Agri and Umang apps. These apps are under the project Arik Abing Lunam mobile-based agro-advisory services in Arunachal Pradesh being implemented by College of Horticulture and Forestry Pasighat in collaboration with Digital India Corporation under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. In a momentous event held at the Jain College Pasighat, the Space on Wheels program was officially inaugurated today. This groundbreaking initiative, which features a mobile exhibition showcasing sophisticated models of satellites, launching vehicles, and communication systems, aims to bring the wonders of space exploration to the doorstep of students and enthusiasts across the region. The Space on Wheels program is a collaborative effort of Vigyana Bharati Viva and the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. The program's mission is to share the achievements and endeavors of ISRO with the young minds of India and to inspire future scientists and engineers. The innovation ceremony was graced by Professor Tomo Riva, Vice-Chancellor of Arunachal Pradesh University, JNC Principal Dr. Tasi Talo, and Akash Pandey, National Coordinator of the Space on Wheels program. Amid the persistent traffic woes, Opposition Congress has served a one-month deadline to state government for re maintenance of Itanagar Nahalagun stretch of NH415, which was considerably damaged at various locations due to heavy rain. The party demanded that along with the main road connecting the twin capital towns, all district roads which are in poor condition must be refurbished within the given time frame, failing which it threatened to take the streets in protest against the government. Besides slamming the government for the erratic power supply in the capital region, the Congress alleged that the ruling dispensation failed to supply sufficient water to the capital dwellers. A preliminary meeting to discuss the preparations for the upcoming Tang Festival 2023 was held at the Tang DC's office premises on Monday. DC Kanki Darang, who chaired the meeting, appealed to all stakeholders for their wholehearted support and cooperation for the success of the annual tourism and cultural extravaganza. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. 